Hello dear friends, welcome to another cozy crafting video. Today I'm going to be working in my happy binder and a happy binder is just something that I like to call this mini binder filled with all kinds of paper goodies and memories and cards and beautiful things that I've saved throughout the years. If you want to get into junk journaling, honestly, this is the easiest way to go about it. All you need is a mini three ring binder. And this one is from Target and it's, I want to say it's probably 10 years, nine years old, but I will be linking some in the video description for you. Now, the reason that this is the easiest junk journal in the world is because all you need is a stack of cards, birthday cards, pretty paper napkins. I mean, anything really that you can hole punch or staple or glue into here, that'll work. And you will also need a hole punch. So today, as I go along and add some more things to my happy binder, you're gonna see just how easy it is to do this on your own. Okay, let's get started. So I wanted to add this beautiful heart print craft cardstock right behind this beautiful crocheted doily. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling out the piece right after that, which was like a little postcard or something. And all I'm doing is just using that as a template so that I know exactly where to hole punch my craft colored cardstock. Then I wanted to add a little bit of floral, which is floral details, which are always good in my book, and also some beautiful little die cut leaves. And I thought while I'm at it, why don't I add this beautiful vintage picture of Queen Elizabeth. Anything and everything goes in a happy binder. It's honestly just a collection of things that bring you joy, that bring you happiness, and things that you will like to like go back to and keep looking at. Now the key to having a happy binder that really rocks your retinas is to make sure that you're gluing things off of the page that you're working on. And that's because when you close the whole book, you're just gonna see how everything is a little bit offset and hanging off of the edge. And it gives everything just a really nice sort of like movement. It makes your eyes wanna go up and down the page and it literally will rock your retinas. Next, I'm gluing this vintage applique onto one of my favorite things that I've ever made, which is this paint chip with a Bible verse printed on it. And this paint chip was probably the most frustrating thing that I've ever made, but it's also my favorite thing that I've ever made. It was just hours and hours of trial and error and trying to get this thing to print correctly. But it's one of my treasured things, so I'm so glad it has a permanent home in my happy binder. The great thing about junk journaling in a binder is that it's so easy to just hole punch all of your papers and cards. And then once you do that, the next step is finding a home for the unpunchable things. So whether that's gluing something down, paper clipping it in, or using a Tim Holtz tiny attacher to staple in something beautiful in like a little corner. It's just so easy. And if I can do it, you can do it too.
I don't usually journal in my junk journals, but what you can do if you do feel like writing down memories in these, then all you would have to do is just cut up some cardstock, some plain cardstock, or like graph paper, which I absolutely love writing on. So if you just cut some strips of those or like some squares and just glue those randomly into wherever you think would be a good spot or like a nice little blank spot for you to do some journaling, then you can certainly go that route. Also, don't limit yourself to just adding papers in here. You can get really creative and add fabric, ribbons, twine, acrylic embellishments, sequins, pom-poms, even bells. Happy binders are a great way to use up scraps, and you can even use a tiny scrap of ribbon to make yourself a page tab, and that's such a win, especially when the piece is just too small to be usable for anything else. Like, there are no scraps left behind with this project. I would love to know how you're using your scraps, whether it's paper or fabric or anything like that. I really want to be better about what I do with my scraps, so please send ideas or things that you've tried or things that you've seen. And honestly, um, <laughs> I started a trash journal recently, and it's basically all the unusable scraps that are so tiny they really aren't good for anything, but I just felt so bad throwing them away. So I've started collaging them in an old journal. So far, it's an ugly collage, but <laughs> at least I feel better about the scraps not going in the trash. Okay, let's talk about this Selena picture. So it was too um, small to hole punch it uh, horizontally, and I didn't want to punch it vertically. So what I'm doing is just cutting a strip of paper, so folding the paper in half, and just cutting a strip, and then I'm going to glue that around the photo, and then I'm gonna hole punch the paper. So if there's anything that you wanna to add to your journal that you feel bad about like punching a hole through, then this is a good alternative. So all you do is just kind of sandwich your picture or your card or whatever it is that you're gonna add in here. You just sandwich it between a piece of paper um, and then just hole punch the paper instead of the actual object. I hope that makes sense. You could also just glue the picture onto a bigger piece of cardstock and just kind of leave a thick border all the way around, and then you can hole punch the border. Now that would have been a lot easier for me to do, but I really like this look. It just gives it a little bit more interest. One thing that I'm really happy about is that I'm finally using some photographs that I printed, I think back in 2020. And these photographs are just kind of random things like some pressed flowers, 
uh, some orange juice, some oranges that I like juiced. So very random things, but I thought they were really pretty pictures, but I didn't really have anywhere to put them. So this is kind of a great way. It's kind of like a catch-all for all of your extra like miscellaneous photos and cards and other little doodads that you might have lying around. I had the best time working on this junk journal, and it's not just because it was stormy out. There's something about sitting with things that bring you such happy memories. So whether it's notes that I've received from you or things that I saved from my time in the UK, it feels like I'm spending time with old friends and there's nothing but good feelings. And they're just all reminders of the many blessings that I've experienced throughout my life. I know a lot of you are probably seeing things in here that you sent my way, and I just want to say that I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so, so much for your kindness, and also thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great week. And Lord willing, I'll see you soon. Bye.